everyone and welcome to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. You guys, please forgive me. I know it's been a while. Um, I'm praying that I have enough memory to do this because, yeah. So, I know I'm late for a weekly budget and I'm kind of considering just going to do the weekly budget and then post it later. But I'm going to do a monthly, I believe. I've been skipping monthly, so... Let's do a monthly. I feel a little lost here. Hold on. I'm not on my right month. Let's see. That was May. Let's do June. This shouldn't take us too long to do. I'm going to go to my monthly. Actually, I'm going to pull out. I'm in personal rings now, y'all. So I'm going to pull out my monthly here because I've already filled this in because I was playing with this planner so I have bills in here move that there and I'm going to try to be quick so that like I said I don't have to do too much editing and I don't well, make that out. <laughs> I don't lose my momentum so we're doing June it's 2023 and as always these can be found these inserts can be found on my shop so first source of income is hair I'm not I don't have any nail clients right now plus my nail area isn't ready um, I call Norris Cove no co sometimes so Norris Cove that'd be my second and my next is miscellaneous right now I don't think I have anything miscellaneous for hair um, usually I guesstimate around 4,000, 4,500. Some months I've been bringing in 4,500 or either five, but um, I'm going into my slow season. So I'm just going to put four. Pray that it's good. NoCo has been doing really good. Um, last month, I think we did around 17, 1800. Um, no, take the back. We did 1600 the month before that. April we did around 17 18 so I'm gonna I'm liking that number but I'm gonna put I'm just go with 1600 it's based off of last month and so that would be 5600 but here's the thing most of Norco's income it's not mine it's not for me to pay bills it pretty much goes back into the business I sometimes pay for things ahead of time so only thing I technically do is just pay myself back so I always kind of skip very little expenses but that's mainly for anyone who wants to use it I just didn't want to make it about myself but for me I just kind of try to put everything in here if I can't fit it here I'll hop over here so on the first we have CNP which I've already paid them I think they're like $47 I'm gonna put 47 have Amazon that's $15.89 I'm not gonna worry about the dollar signs today uh, what else also y'all I got another Ulta card that was due so I paid them and my intentions was to pay it off but of course with interest it was higher than what I paid so I did the minimum but I'll go back and eventually pay it off it's not that much it's like $160 $180 but that's fine um we have community i've paid them i did the minimum minimum what is going on i did the minimum on them as well because again this is that time of year where it's slow for me i've had to dip into my envelopes you guys i still have a little cash in there as of today june 2nd but i dipped in it to pay my son's senior dues all that great stuff um, we got to pay y'all. There's so much. I'm not putting them in the budget. We, it's just ridiculous. Anyway, uh, Walmart is on the 4th. I will do them. I may have to add up. I'm going to put, matter of fact, I'm going to put after pays over here. Because fortunately and unfortunately, I am able to get some things. And I'll put a firm. I am able to get a few items using after pay for the budget box but uh i don't like that i really don't um that's about 30 dollars for walmart haven't gotten to that the fifth is credit one some of these i don't really need to have to write down credit one it'll probably be about the same so we're doing minimums around here because uh it just is what it is um on the seventh we have canva um 
Chase on the 11th. Chase, it varies. I'm not sure. Canva, I'm putting $14. Chase, I'm going to do $50, but it probably may be a little bit more. Let's see what else do we have here. Um, the 15th is Capital One, which now Capital One pays for my T-Mobile. So I give them roughly about $200 a month. My T-Mobile is $158 now that I have it automatically drawn from my Capital One. So I'll send my Capital One money. So I'll probably end up sending them $200 this month. So on the 17th is Citibank, which... I think the last I looked at is $45. 18th is Barclays. I got to get rid of some of these credit cards. Barclays, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to do them at 50. The 19th, we have T-Mobile. Um, I'm not going to put them really in there because it's kind of coming out through Capital One, but my T-Mobile bill now is $158. By me automating it, not having any late fees, the best thing I could have did. I don't know why I didn't do this before. 25th, we have PayPal. Okay, I did lose a little bit of storage, but I had a lot of unnecessary apps. Uh, PayPal, 30, so I'm gonna be quick. Oh, I did forget my car note. I have my car note here, Ally. I'm not ready to share that yet. Um, I might, since I'm doing the monthly, um, it's okay. Uh, let's see, Barclays, PayPal. We have GoDaddy on the 27th, GoDaddy. Um, GoDaddy is $7.41. Let's see, car insurance, oh my God. Car insurance is a mess. I just paid $5.27. I don't know. They jump around. Um, my life insurance is included on that as well. So, and I have two cars on there. So, that's why that's a little high. We have Shopify, which is like the 29th. I'm just going to put like 200 Last month, I paid more than that because of the shipping. So, I'm going to leave it at 200 and I'm going to do my numbers. And that's pretty much it, you guys. This is what I pay out a month. I'm going to tell you, I come in around 3500 pretty much. So, that leaves me pretty much like 500 left. Um, sometimes I'm at 3200 It just depends. But that's pretty much where I am. You guys, we got calculators. We got calculators. Okay, <laughs> let's do a little map of what we have so far. I'm gonna say this ain't right. I forgot booth rent. Booth rent is a thousand dollars. So we're at two forty six. Um, excuse me, two thousand four hundred and sixty four dollars and thirty six cents. And I have not added my car note, so I'm gonna put that here. Two four six four three six. Not added my car note. Keep that in mind. I know, I said around 35, 3200, something is missing. Let me put um, salon, booth. And I'm missing like $7 off of something, $6 that I didn't add. I'm gonna look over this, but pretty much you guys, this is what I got. If this is what I'm paying, and I'm, I think that's why I have a little room, because my car note, like I said, I'm just not ready to share it. It will put me over the 3000 mark, I will say that, um, but um, not much. But um, we have afterpays and affirms and things like that. I'm trying to get a hold of those because I do not like owing people like that. I just don't like it. So I'm now in the process of trying to... Um, like when the first of the month comes because I got to pay myself back and I'm paying back these afterpays. It's just hard to put the money aside. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to start putting, um, like buying things with 
when everyone's money come out buying things instead of paying myself back so i'm just gonna again back to taking a hit but i'll be buying things for the box and then it is what it is at that point so we are doing well in the box so we should be okay for now and paying those things down but it's about getting back out of debt again i'm not doing cash stuffing right now because i really just don't have it but i cannot wait to get back to it i'm actually taken from it but i can't wait to get back to it i am going to commit eventually to it but that is all that i have today you guys thank you so much for watching also don't forget if you are interested in these um inserts these budget inserts we have them in letter size all the way to pocket um they are available for a download in my shop they are listed below also we now have pink calculators we have white left and pink we did have tan we don't have any more tan but we do have pink and white right now and the pink is the latest one um yeah so most of the inserts that are here in my budget planner are for me they are offered as a digital download get them now while you can because they're going to be going away for 2024 we're going to start introducing some 2024 inserts as a sneak they will be in some of our upcoming budget boxes so you don't want to miss that as well also there should be a sign up link below to purchase the budget box we look forward to having you if today was your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video please do me a favor hit that subscribe button also hit that notification bell leave me a message in the comment section and let me know that you're new and so that we can welcome you to the cove thank you guys so much and have a good day bye